It's awesome to be back in the lion's den here in Cambridge at Jacob Hesper. This is U18 head coach Christian Curiata, who's gearing up for the season starting on Saturday, May 18th, here at home. Outlook for the season, as simple as I can put it. I know you're stoked. I know there's a lot of positive energy around here. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. We've been working so hard already for so long. We started back in January, at the end of January, um, and just been putting in work week after week. Um, you know, I think we got, a, again, a big new group here, right. right? A bunch of guys that have come in, new to the program. Um, the great thing about that is a bunch of guys that wanted to be here, right? right? A bunch of guys that chose to be here. The, you know, if you love competition, you want to be playing here, right? You're competing against each other, right? Whether it be the guy at your position group or the guy across from you every right. day in practice. And we're playing in the premier conference in the province, right? It, we're playing against great, great talent all year. Even with Cumberland coming from the outer conference, right? They're in the east, right? That's, that's the top opponent in the east. Right, that, you're, that we're going to see all year. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the competition that we have, right, what that breeds every week in terms of how our work ethic has to be, right, how high of a level we have to hold ourselves to with our standards. Um, and and w the way we say it to our guys, it's it's 1 out of 11. Sure. Every game's just 1 out of 11 for us, and we just got to go 1 and 0 every week. 16 returning players, the rest are new faces here. What's the chemistry been like? How have they all fit together? These are good football players. A lot of them are veterans coming over. Obviously, Tim Nixon comes to mind right away. Um, but how's the adaptation process been how have they all fit together to gel into one Lions unit yeah I mean you know I'll, I'll admit it was a slow start right, right? it was it, you know you get that many new guys coming together some about 50 new guys right whether that be or even our JVs coming up right yeah, they're still sure. new to the way we do things at senior and new to the other guys at senior um, you know I think the one interesting thing is as it started to work together they get to spend more time together they start to feed off of each other right, right? whether it be the energy or just the effort they give right like we say you know three things around here right we want uncommon effort relentless energy and we want them to focus on their opportunities right I think every guy that came here right again they chose to be here looked at as an opportunity to be the best version of themselves yeah. right and that's what we preach the most Tim Nixon Damian Plosta Liam Marsden Micah Duchesne it seems from the outside like a pretty powerful offense you're a defensive guy yeah, I know that um, but that offense could be pretty dynamic yeah no I mean you know like we feel good about all phases like our, our offensive line we feel it's a, it's a very very strong unit and right. deep we feel like we have depth right uh, receiver group this might be the best receiver group we've had at least in my time here this is my third year here right when you look at the full starting group right we got four guys one guy you didn't even mention in that was Troy McDonald for sure right from Ross, John F. Ross, right? Yep, yep. Uh, chemistry with Tim already, obviously yep. playing together, right? Reed Williams is another guy. Um, the running back room, I mean, we got we got four guys that we feel awesome about, right? With Micah Duchesne, right? Brandon Riggin, who just had a great year at Jacob Hespler, um, Trey Lewis Wilson, yep. right? Coming out of Lords, and Lords, yeah, 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 and uh, Brian Amokahini, right? Another Laurier commit, right? Guy that's been in the program for a long time. St. Benedict Saints, great program yeah. in Cambridge there too. Shout out to Joe Ville for helping Brian, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So I mean, and even you know, it even goes past him right like we got a quarterback room that's come together it's worked hard it's four guys right Boston Barry returning to the program yeah. right he's been working really hard for us he's going to be a dynamic role player for us it's not just going to be limited to quarterback for him right we have yeah. another guy that's come in Rowan um, from from uh, Waterdown yep. actually right yep. so um, you know he's worked his butt off he's learning he's developing Jacob Belk returning lion right a guy that we know that we can put in he's going to be consistent he's going to get his job done yeah quarterback with Jacob Hustler Jacob Belk um, that was a bit of a long answer so I know this one's going to be longer because <laughs> I'm going to ask you about the defense. Yeah. Try to hold it under five minutes if you can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. no, Owen Ellis, obviously one of the big key yeah. leaders back there. Um, how do you rate this defense and what they're going to do, Christian? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think I think a big challenge for us is replacing what we had last year. There's no there's no secret to that, right? Number two defense in the province, bunch of guys that were just playmakers, right? And I think you know, you look at the group we have this year. It's different. It really is different. Yeah. But having Owen and Poletic holding it down in the middle, right? Adding a playmaker like Jackson Lashuk, right? Jared Watts coming back right being yeah. consistent keeping yeah. growing in his role right it's a brand new db core right but a bunch of, bunch of guys that come out here right they've been learning off of each other building that chemistry getting ready to go for the 18th jared watts kci jackson lashook just a superstar with the centennial spartans uh quickly touch on the special teams let's get in all phases here yep. obviously all three are going to be key if you're going to be hoisting that trophy at the end yeah. how do you view the special teams group yeah i mean you know we we really did a review of last year that, that was the start of it for our staff right and i think one thing even going back to the consistency piece and the chemistry right. piece yep. is we were able to bring back 10 coaches right so we had a changeover in an offense coordinator head coach right um, we were able to bring back 10 coaches right so being able to do that keep a consistency there 
there for our players, but even just the staff level. So we went back, we looked at our special teams from last year, and we said, hey, listen, you know what? The reality is we got to be better, yep. right? We, we self-assessed, we, we said we got to be better, right? So what we've done is we've, we tried to simplify the scheme a little bit, make it a little bit more player friendly, mm -hmm. right? And we've added more power with our coaching staff to that those units to be able to coach it better. Why are you ready for this challenge? This is your first year as the head coach of the U18 Cambridge Lions. You had a fantastic mentor in Jackson Yonkis, you know, who was here for a number of years and did a great job developing these kids and developing this program. Uh, but now you're the guy in charge. Why are you ready for this opportunity? Um, I don't know, you get to be a first-time head coach here on the yeah. 18th. Yeah, no, I, it, you know, it's, a, it's one that you kind of think about, and I sit at home <laughs> sometimes, and I go, Hey, I'm the head coach. <laughs> like, it's a it's a weird feeling sometimes, you know. I think, um, you know, what prepared me for it. I mean, the guy you mentioned, Jackson yeah, Yonkers, sure. right? Like, you know, I, I got to spend my first season as the assistant DC to his DC, right? Last year he gave me the DC role, and then and then now as he moves on, right, mm -hmm. becoming the head coach. Um, you know, I think he he's really the one that built this culture here. Right. He, it, I'm just trying to continue what he's doing. I'm trying to grow on it in my own way a little bit. Right. In our own way as our staff. Right. A little bit. We, want, we, made, we made some small changes. Yep. Right. But what's still important to us is our base culture. Right. We want to keep that going um, and learning that under him, learning how to handle things, learning how to operate the team. He's the one that's prepared me for it. Jackson never had a voice at the end of a football game. <laughs> Will you? Uh, it's unlikely. It's un you, you'll be interviewing me after, and I'm going to have to take a lot of sips of water during it, I can tell you that. He will have a hoarse voice after the home <laughs> opener, which takes place here at Jacob Hespler on Saturday, May 18th at 7 o'clock against the Cumberland Panthers. Can't wait for the season, the OS OSFL season to start here, Christian. Um, going to be great. Thanks for the time. There we go. Go Lions.